Tesla full self-driving finally made it to Europe and it's absolutely unbelievable. I didn't expect it to survive the hardcore difficulty of European city streets, but honestly, you'll be shocked when you see how FSD performs. And of course, the AI couldn't do it without its own secret weapon, which I'll reveal later in the video. The official Tesla account recently dropped their first two-minute time-lapse of FSD flexing in one of Europe's most chaotic cities, Amsterdam. They just wanted to give us a quick teaser without revealing any details. And I gotta say, it looked clean, maybe too clean. But using the power of AI super slow motion, I have smoothly slowed down the video, exposed and enhanced every frame. And today, we'll watch the whole ride together as it really happened. This really is full self-driving 13, where you only have to press the blue button on the screen, no longer requiring a single touch of the steering wheel. Immediately, the Model 3 shifts into reverse and carefully unparks itself in one precise move, turning the steering wheel back even before it shifts to drive. Then it starts driving down this narrow road full of parked cars. And our US viewers immediately spot the difference, right? Street space comes at a luxury in European cities. And this challenge is going to be present for the rest of the video. 25 km per hour here is actually pretty bold driving speed in such a cramped space where pedestrians or cars could suddenly jump in at any time. As the car approaches its first intersection, it has to yield to all other traffic. But unlike American ever-present stop signs, stopping is not required here. So the ride continues that much smoother. Now we're driving on tram tracks, which can be confusing, but not for FSD, as it's correctly recognizing its own appropriate lane and driving like a local. It politely stops for a pedestrian crossing even without a crosswalk and then it lets a few cyclists drive across as well, foreshadowing the biggest challenge of this video. Now check out how the screen visuals render this huge tram coming around the corner. We stop for a crosswalk and here comes the chaos. Pedestrians and cyclists absolutely everywhere. But FSD stays not only safe and polite, but also smooth. No sudden changes or steering wheel jerk and full confidence mode. Driving behind a cyclist now, check out how it correctly doesn't slow down for these pedestrians already approaching the end of a crosswalk. That would have been a huge phantom break on poor old autopilot. Giving all cyclists enough space and not tailgating them is the correct move here, which most human drivers have yet to learn. And once they're out of the way, we can step on the accelerator a little bit more before approaching another cyclist. And this is one of my favorite parts of the video. Pay close attention how close the car gets to the left curb before smoothly overtaking this cyclist with barely legal margins. The official minimal safe distance in this exact case is one a meter, so you be the judge. Was this too close? What would you have done as a driver here? As we approach this nightmare of an intersection, FSD never hesitates for a second and glides through like it's done this a hundred times before, because it probably has in its vast training data. It correctly interprets the speed limit of 30 km per hour and drives just a bit faster. But you can definitely start to see a pattern of playing loose with the law here. Notice how it slows down carefully when approaching the cyclist in the bike lane on the right. Honestly, looking at this, I absolutely can't wait to try FSD in Prague, our base of operations. So definitely subscribe to see that and let us know where are you going to use it. And here comes another crazy intersection with tram tracks, tons of both fast and slow hesitant cyclists. If it screws up here, there's no room to recover but FSD almost magically goes through without stopping awkwardly for the cyclist or being overly cautious in any other way. Now, 
driving through another tight street clogged with parked cars from both sides. There's an oncoming car for which FSD amazingly utilizes new available space on the right to increase safety, comfort and smoothness for both vehicles. Remember that secret weapon I mentioned? It was deployed just now and quietly saved the day, but more on that later. Amsterdam is such a beautiful city and might be the best benchmark for Tesla full self-driving in Europe. Like if you agree so far, and if you're not convinced yet, keep watching because the best part is still ahead of us. The leader of Tesla AI famously said that it should never spill a coffee inside the car even during the sharpest turns and I really love this approach. And this might be the highlight of this video. Perfect storm of assertiveness, a little bit of law breaking and making the most out of a potentially catastrophic situation. There's an extremely narrow bridge coming up that has a clear rule. All traffic coming from our side should yield to traffic from the other side. That's what those arrows mean. The Tesla enters the bridge when it appears clear, but immediately after it sees a crowd of oncoming cyclists. It stops and waits. If a car appeared right now on the other side, we would have to start backing up. But what happens next shocked me when I first saw it. Even though there are more and more cyclists coming and Tesla should yield to all of them, it decides to go through, slowly and cautiously, but given the rules also pretty aggressively. When they approach the car, however, it stops again and continues only once the bridge is completely clear. Whew, if you started sweating in the middle of that, don't worry, I did too. But let us know in the comments, did FSD do it right or was it too aggressive in your opinion? Urban chaos continues as more pedestrians and cyclists wheeze by but the Tesla stays composed, confident and assertive as a good driver should. The less space it has, the slower it goes, but it never fully stops if it absolutely doesn't have to. Even in the tightest bottleneck with cyclists driving just a few inches away, it continues creeping at one kilometer per hour and maneuvers around them. Now I'm absolutely amazed how well it's doing so far and if you feel the same, not just about FSD but this small new channel outperforming even the biggest YouTube stars with its quality, you can always drop a few pennies in the tip jar, also known as the thanks button under the video. But even a quick like will go a long way to please the algorithm. FSD's driving behind a jogger right now, well maybe more like a runner since we're clogging him at 16 km per hour and we have two oncoming cars to deal with as well. FSD slows down and makes enough space for both and then casually glides with a rogue pedestrian just walking in the road. Yeah, that's what we do in Europe, you know, we know how to use our legs. Shocking, I know. The Tesla wants to turn left here but has to stop for two cyclists with different speeds and trajectories and even before they're gone it continues because it knows exactly when to go to keep everyone safe. And here comes the final boss of Netherlands, a literal swarm of bicyclists lunging from behind the corner and coming our way but just like almost everything so far, even those are handled perfectly and with zero fear or second thoughts. The future is now. Before FSD gets to its destination, the clip sadly fades to black, but there's so much more to unpack here. First of all, with all the videos from China and now Europe, it's beyond clear that full self-driving is ready for a global rollout. The only thing stopping it now is regulatory approval and hopefully it's just months away at this point. Just like my colleague AI driver, I have to emphasize smoothness at a level only achievable by end-to-end -end neural networks, which take into account everything all at once. And that is Tesla's secret weapon that I mentioned earlier. No other company is capable of this. 
and with the RoboTaxi pilot program less than two months away, it will become apparent really soon. Because the best RoboTaxi is the one that can offer not just utility, speed and safety, but also maximum comfort. And if you want to see the opposite of that, check out this video next. The very first steps of Tesla AI in Europe in a brutal safety test made of 10 challenges we made our poor car endure. Viewer discretion advice on this one, but thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one, live from beyond the big pond, sunny San Francisco.